Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. Today we're looking at my entire pen collection. I should have said my entire writing instrument collection. <clears throat> because I have many pens. So, this will also be a top favorite video, top favorite pens. <clears throat> there. All right, so now everybody can get the right idea. <clears throat> So, to start off with, this will probably be uh, pens and pencils, writing instruments. Top favorite writing instruments. Because I have a lot of writing instruments. And um, I don't know if you all know this, but I am a collector of certain pens. So, we're going to take a look at them now. Um, <clears throat> one of my top favorite pens of the year, if I can just have some focus, that would be great. Focus. There. Uh, there, there. So this is one of my top favorite pens of the year. This is my Pensive Pens Serendipity with a Conklin Yovo number 6 Broad Nib. I wish I could find a, a number six double broad nib. I would stick it in here in a heartbeat. But I don't know anybody that makes double broad nibs for the Yovo number six. So this is the widest nib that I have in my collection. And it'll have to stay there for now. <coughs> All right. The next pen that is one of my favorite is the Noodler's Conrad with a fountain pen revolution ultra flex nib you guys know how much i love my noodlers pens they might not smell great but i don't put them under my nose very often this one smells like christmas that's probably because i sprayed it with some cinnamon stuff <laughs> the next favorite of the pens is the fountain pen revolution himalaya with an ultra flex nib I have a couple of these. So this is in my top favorite pens. <clears throat> Maybe not that color, but in that way, another of my favorite pens is the Noodler's Conrad. Clear Noodler's Conrad. This is a Noodler's Acrylic Conrad. Look at that beautiful chatoyancy in there. Oh, it's just beautiful. I feel like I can fall right in. It's a beautiful chatoyancy. A new favorite of mine is this Moon Man 100 Centennial. And it just, it matches up really well. Not very many of my pens match up that well. The chatoyancy is just incredible. It's like almost, almost perfect. If I closed it all the way there. It's just amazing. This is their galaxy finish. I mean, if you're thinking thoughts about getting a Chatoyant pen, this is the one. Because not my f none of my pens match up this well. It's just amazing. Uh, Platinum Preppy. Eh. Sailor Compass. No. This is another one of my favorites. This is a... 
Noodlers Conrad, Gray Noodlers Conrad. This one has an fpnibs.com Yovo number six, 14 karat semi flex with an extra, extra, extra fine grind. I use this for addressing envelopes and practicing calligraphy. I love this pen, but the chatoyants don't match up. Hi, Marie Marie, how are you doing? <clears throat> Sorry, how are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? <clears throat> Another one of my favorite pens of the year. This is the Kakamori Dip Nib and the. Uh, what did she call this? This is a Gourmet Pens Baby Pen Holder. Pardon me for just a second. All right, sorry, my phlegm just wasn't coming up today. This is a beautiful little uh, baby, baby nib holder. Hi, Wolf K Witch. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? It's so sparkly. I'm gonna die. I know. It's just like, it's got like some chatoyants in there. Do you see it? It's got like veins of chatoyants in there. It's not super obvious, but it's like a clear chatoyance. There's a, a vein right in there you can see. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. It's one of my favorite dip nib pens. Another tool, another writing device that I have recently discovered. This is a drink stirring rod. This is great for doing swatches. It's got a little ball of... Uh, glass on the end and I just dip it in the sample and swirl it around with my glass my glass um, rod and it kind of looks like Mega Mouse. Isn't that cute? It's got little bumpies on him though. Super cute. <clears throat> Hi Will, how are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? I'm doing well. Looks like Aurora Borealis. Yes, exactly. All right, let's get into some fountain pens, shall we? So, uh, one of my favorite things of the year is, are these 48 pen case holders. I've had to throw one away already. Actually, I think this is the one that I'm going to throw away. But I have recently purchased another one because I didn't get one for Christmas. Just saying. So I recently purchased one from Amazon as of like, how long have I been going? Eight minutes and a half ago. <clears throat> I might have to get another one. They're really cheap. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. Totally worth it, hands down. Number one favorite tool of the year. All right, I'm gonna be going over my my thumbs down, and my thumbs up. So this is a Jinhao 51A, and this one has a unique quirk that I don't think any of the other Jinhao 51As have. I managed to be able to unscrew this collar, which enable me to shove this feed section out. This is the only one I've had three of these and I've never been able to disassemble any of the other ones. But this one was special. I don't know why, but maybe the the um, glue wasn't good on that one part, but this actually has little tiny fins in this thing and I just think it's the cutest thing under the sun. It's so cute. You can take it apart and clean it. That's my favorite part. Taking pins apart so I can clean them. That's that's a true passion. I don't see many people having 
I love being able to disassemble my pens and clean them and give them good lubrication care and putting them back together. I don't use this pen very often because I'm not really a fine nib person, but that's, that's a good one. <clears throat> this is a Wing Sung 3003. This was one of the first pens that, uh, one of the first type pens that I bought. I bought the blue one. This one was a gift from a pen friend. It has a snap cap and a fine, or is it an extra fine? An extra fine nib, which is not really my thing either. Not really an extra fine nib person, unless I'm doing calligraphy and it's a flexi pen. This is a Jinhao 599, which is very resemblant to the uh, Lamy Vista, except it uses a number five size nib. This one currently has a 1.1 millimeter stub on it. This is a Yurin 401, and it has a rainbow finish on it, and an extra fine, super cute. I loved it for the rainbow, but not really a favorite because, you know, not a really extra fine person. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee. How are you doing today? And as you see here, I have a full set one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Chin Hao 992s. They range from extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1, 1 1.5, 1 and 1.9, and a 2.9 millimeter stub. So I have all of them somewhere in my collection. And I have changed out those nibs for the ones that are in here. So these are all currently fine nibs. My extra fine nibs or my, my fi extra fine through 2.9 millimeter stubs are in other various pens <laughs> or have been lost to, to the drain monster. And you can get these on wish.com for like two bucks. So if you're interested in a fountain pen you can get them for like two bucks. <laughs> And this is my Literati Dust Pen. This is the first pen that I bought at the Los Angeles Pen Show. It's got a number six size Yovo nib. This is a Franklin Christoph Flex nib in here. And I liked it because it felt uh, the girth was perfect. It's perfect. It's wonderful. But I need to find a good feed for it. These are my Pilot Parallels. Don't really use them anymore. Not really into broad edge calligraphy. This is a Lombatow 3059. Another Lombatow 3059. A Winksung 3008. <coughs> Um, this is kind of like the, um, the, um, Jinhao 51A. This is a Wing Sung 613. There's a house on it. I don't know. But it's in demonstrator, and I wanted a demonstrator. The only problem with this one is it has the old style cone, the old style cone mechanism, which is really difficult to get it to line up with the hood. Let's see. You have to have it. I have to have it perfect. <laughs> and that's really annoying. So it's not really one that I use anymore. Plus, it's a bitch to clean out. 
This is a Pilot Petite One. This is a really nice little pocket pen. If you if you want like the perfect pocket pen, they come in fine nib, but you can find these cheap you can find these cheap nibs on Amazon for like a buck a piece. They come in like a five cent. And you can get them in fine, medium, and I think even a Fude upturn nib. Oh, oh and even a paintbrush. Oh, they come in a, a fine and a paintbrush. That was the one. They come in the teeny tiniest paintbrush you ever saw in my life. I want one. If anybody has one, you let me know. <sighs> they don't sell them anymore, but I want one. All right, the next pens that we have here are Conklin. Der this is a Conklin Demograph. Does it say Demograph? No, it says Duraflex. But this is a Conklin Duraflex. This is, what is this? this is an extra fine nib. Not really an extra fine person, so it just kind of lives in my bag. This is a Franklin Kristoff. A uh, 1.5 millimeter stub. Not really a stub person. This is a Franklin. Uh, this is a Conklin Duraflex with a fountain pen revolution flex nib in it. These are Jinhao Jinhao X450. Jinhao X750. I had another Jinhao X750. I feel 450 somewhere. Where did it go? Oh. Um, let me see. I want to keep these together. Dang it. There. All right, this is a vintage <clears throat> pencil that I found on the ground. I think it might be gold. It's cracked down the center. So sad. I found it on the way to the bus stop. This is a vintage pocket pen. Pen friend Pierre Gustafson gifted me. And I put a Waterman number two nib in it. And it's a cute little flexi writer. Perfect for on the go. And it's a ring top, which was meant to be put on a lanyard so that you could wear it around your neck. Isn't that cute? This is a Twisby Eco, another Conklin in Rainbow. This is an Ackerman. Piston Zebra G nib pen. It's a calligraphy pen. There's no identifying markers on this pen at all. This is a Pelican Twist that was a gift from Pen Friend. Um, I have four sailors now. I can't say that I like either one of them. This is a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, another Sailor Pro Gear Slim, a Sailor uh, 1911 Wicked Witch of the West. This is a Platinum Preppy. This is a Foggy Long 90 
This one has a 2.9 millimeter stub. It's the widest nib that I own in a number five size. This is an Uli red pen. This one was a gift from Pen Friend. This is the first fountain pen I ever owned. This is a manuscript calligraphy pen. It came with a set of fine medium uh, 0.7, 1.1, 1.3, and 2.9, but most of the nibs went down the drain before I could get a nib uh, before I could get a drain guard. So this will always have a special uh, place in my heart, <clears throat> and it was the last gift from my husband before he passed. And this one has a very interesting property. It sings. And I'd never heard anything like that happen in any of my other pens. But the the tines are so close together that when they run across a rough paper, they, they vibrate and, and they make kind of a whistling noise. I'll have to try and demonstrate it one of these days. <clears throat> this is a knockable, a Pentel knuckle. This is a dry erase flex pen for demonstrating calligraphy. Great for if you're trying to like, uh, teach calligraphy. This is a Schneider Ray fountain pen. This was a gift from Pen Frank Chris Signs. It comes with a medium broad nib. This is probably the broadest medium nib I ever saw in my whole life. This is a Rainbow Forest this is a Rainbow Forest Hongdian Black Forest fountain pen. No, this is a Hongdian The Light of Hope. The Light of Hope pen. Look at how beautiful it is. It's even got a rainbow section and a rainbow nib, but it's extra fine. Beautiful pen. Too bad that they don't come medium or broad. Another Pi Pilot Petite 1. This is a Jinhao 159. It's probably the biggest pen in my collection at the moment. It says 18 karat gold plated, but I believe that about as far as a fart in a whirlwind. Jin Hao. You're not fooling anybody. Alright, next. How long have I been rambling? 24 minutes. Alright, let's take a look over here. <clears throat> this is a favorite. These are pretty much my favorite pens. This is like my number three favorite pen. This is the Leonardo Memento Magico in emerald. Comes with a beautiful ink window and a Leonardo broad nib. This thing is like writing on glass with butter. It, it is so it's like writing with in a in a hot non-stick pan with butter. It is so smooth. And it just it's one of my favorite pens. I just love it. Next 
This is a Mahjong P136 piston filler. This one has the Omniflex nib in it. This one probably has the smoothest uh, piston mechanism I, I ever felt in my whole life. It is just so smooth. This is a Hong Dion N1. No, what is this? This is a Hong Dion N8 fountain pen. And just look at the chatoyance on that. It's so beautiful. And the beautiful maple leaves. And comes with a. Uh, I don't know what nib this is. Is this an extra fine? This is a fine. A fine 35 nib. And it has like a teardrop hole, breather hole, it's, or like a pendant shaped breather hole. It's kind of like this. It kind of looks like, I'm not going to say. And then we have the Noodlers Nib Creeper, three Noodlers Conrads. A Waterman 12, a Waterman 12, a Waterman 12. This is a POC, this is a clip, and this is a non clip. This is a Hongdian. A Hongdian. No, this is a Kaigaloo 356. This has a very beautiful chatoyant. Look, it's a fine nib. The cool thing about this pen is I can take off the blind cap and get to the cartridge converter instead of having to take the entire pen apart. So if you have a stubborn ink, you can put the stubborn ink in here and get to writing. And then if it just chooses not to move, you just twist the little end cap with a bloop of ink and then keep going. Hi Tom Marley, how are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Yeah, so this is definitely a favorite. I like my piston pens, I like my vintage spoon filler pens. <clears throat> this is a Hongdian N1S. And the only reason that I don't like this pen is because it doesn't take a normal Yobo size nib. This takes, I think, a number 30. It's an extra fine. I don't know. But this, this, the nib in here is shorter than a Yovo number, normal Yovo number 6 nib. <coughs> so I can't swap nibs. Which is a bummer because this one is the actual smoothest uh, piston mechanism. Then we have my pilot pens. This is a pilot uh, Kakuno. Pilot Kakuno. With a cute little sticky tire outer nib, medium. Isn't that cute? in the demo. Great little writer. My pilot vanishing point with the medium nib that I swapped with um, Pen Fan Doodle Bud. And then um, Pilot Prera gift from Pen Friend. This has the smoothest most satisfying snap cap I think I have ever used in my entire life. It is just so satisfying. If you don't have a Pilot Prera, like, you don't know what you're missing. It's just, I could do this all day long. It's so satisfying. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is a Pilot 78G Plus. The plus is gold plated. And this is a 
cursive broad nib, but it says broad on there. And it doesn't have any tipping material. It's just a flat broad nib, which makes it, in my book, a cursive broad nib or a calligraphy broad nib. Then we have my Pilot 912 with a FA Falcon nib. You have to be careful with these Falcon nibs because I was polishing my nib and I wore the silver plating off or the ir iridium, um, um, whatever the silver coating is called, off. And then I have my Pilot Falcon with a fine gold nib. I also have uh, an extra fine gold nib replacement, but I have to I had to exchange the silver nib for the gold one in the housing because they broke the housing. I didn't know what I was doing. I tried to push the cartridge in very violently. I was mad. And I broke the little peg that um, I broke the little peg that you can pierce the cartridge with. This is my Pelican 205. Oh gosh. It doesn't say. Oh, of course it doesn't say. I think the, the gold is a 205 200 series. This is um, Pelican Golden Barrel Fountain Pen. I wish there was more. I wish that these pens were disassemblable. The only thing disassemblable is the nib unit. You can pull the nib unit, but that's about it. Can't take out the piston. Can't take off the nib from the feed. I don't like pens that you can't disassemble. Drives me crazy because then there's shimmer in the, in the particles and I can't fix it. Or if the piston gets stuck, you're screwed. Alright, this is a Lamy Vista. With a black fine nib. Another Lamy, this is the Lamy Vista, I'm sorry, this is a Lamy Safari. This is a Lamy Vista with a Lamy Broad Nib. Is that a broad nib? Nope, that's a medium nib. Lamy Medium Nib. And this is a Pilot, uh, this is a Lamy Studio. This one has the Broad Nib. I love the grip section. It looks a little warped in the camera, but it's got like a grippiness to it. So that way your fingers don't slip off. Because the other ones have a silver colored section, a metal section, which is very slippery and not my friend at all. This is a, a Christmas present from Pen Friend which I haven't gotten to try out yet. This is a click pen. I'm going to put a little flex nib in there and that'll be a lovely little writer. Can't wait. This is my Noodler's Nib Creeper and I put a Waterman number no. 2 nib in there. It's like my most expensive nib creeper. Then we have, this is probably the cheapest pen in my collection. This was $7 from Michael's. Or was it Joanne? I think it was Michael's. This is a Jane Davenport Ink Credible Fountain Pen. And I put a Fountain Pen Revolution... Ultra Flex nib on it. 
I like this pen. I need to use it more. This is a Canwright Desire. And I realized that after I sent the nib off that uh, I gave Bumble Bumblebee my Canwright nib. <laughs> and I kept the Noodler's nib. This is a Twisby Swipe in Sky Blue or Blue Sky with a broad nib. Another Twisby Swipe. I highly recommend if you're going to get a pen that you get the Twisby Swipe because everything is hand disassemblable. You don't have to have any special tools. Everything can come apart with your hands. You don't need any special tools oops, to take it apart. And it's easily cleanable and serviceable. So if you're thinking thoughts about getting one, I would get a swipe first. <clears throat> this is a Jin Hao 82. This is a gift from Pen Friend. Isn't that beautiful? This has a 0 0.7 millimeter stub in it that I got from Wish.com Jin Hao 992 pen. This is a Noodler's Nib Creeper that was gift from Pen Friend. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Tiniest little flex nib you ever saw. This is a Moonland T1 with a fine nib. Moonman fine nib. Very smooth, very nice. This is a Twisby a 580 Iris with a broad nib. And this is a Twisby Mini, Twisby 580 Mini with a broad nib. This is a Twisby Go. With probably this is a 1.1 millimeter stub. Yeah, that's a 1.1 millimeter stub. And this is a Twisby Go with a broad nib. This is probably my broadest broad nib that I own, and it's so wet that I have to be very careful of what inks I use in this, otherwise I'll bloop out onto the page. This is a this is a brush fountain pen that I got from either Wish or Ally Express. This is a fountain pen Revolution Himalaya version one with an ultra flex nib. And I got it, buy one, get one free, so I got a green Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya with an Ultra Flex nib. Then I got... This was a gift from a pen friend, the green cow flavored, and it has a 14 karat gold flex nib on it. This is a 1.5, version 1.5, because it has a number 6 nib and it has a push-pull cartridge converter where the version 1 has the push-pull cartridge converter and a number 5.5 size 
ultra flex nib. And then I got this white Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya version 2 with a number 6 ultra flex nib. This one has a piston style cartridge converter. And I got it on buy one get one free sale when I got my orange fountain pen revolution Himalaya. And then the, this one is my favorite blue pen at the moment. Well, my second favorite now. I think this is my favorite right now. The galaxy flavor is just... Good lord. This is my second favorite now. And if I... Where is it? Can't see it. If I line it up just right, I can get the Chateauancy to line up. Isn't that amazing? Wow. It's just so swirly with the blue and the black and the Chateauancy. Ah, just beautiful. And this has a number six Ultra Flex nib. We're almost done. Almost done with this section anyway. <laughs> this is a Lompatow 3009 space pen. It had a clip, but I broke it off. I don't know, I don't remember where it went, but it broke off. It wasn't a very good clip, but this has a hooded with a little, the tiniest little bladder you ever saw in your whole life. It's so little. It's like my, uh, it's like my vintage size bladder nib, bladder to push, it says push five times. I don't actually know what that says, but that's what I imagine. And it has a little breather tube in it, and it's super cute. It's a nice little pocket pen. And then this one was gifted to me from a pen friend. This is a Tashi FF10T Oto Japan pocket fountain pen. And this one has the most satisfying posting I've ever used. It feels like a normal pen. Only this one takes whoop, this one takes a cartridge. I thought I had a cartridge in here, but I don't. It takes cartridge. The problem with this one is, is that it's not it's not small it's not big enough for a converter, even the small converters. So it has to be cartridge, which is sad. And then we have my Franklin Kristoff that was gift from pen friend Craig Rakanova. Look at that beautiful. Shimmery. Oh my goodness. It's just amazing. And the broad nib on this is just... What did I do with my Franklin Kristoff nib? I had a Franklin Kristoff nib. I'm having a dumbass attack. And that's a broad nib. He gave me a Franklin Kristoff broad nib. Is it in here? Yep. I 
I picked it up, I put it down, and now it went directly to the bottom. That's just how it is. <clears throat> There's the Franklin Kristoff nib that came with it. I harvested it so I could <laughs> use it in my other pens, but this is a really nice pen. The one problem that I have is that the the end of the nib feed housing doesn't meet up with the end of the pen. There's this gap the ink can get lodged in and when you're writing it can bloop out onto the page which is so sad. Such a beautiful pen, such a terrible mistake. <clears throat> All right, one fourth down. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, I wasn't quite kidding. I wasn't quite kidding, so. Again, these are my fr my f my uh, Fudenosuke brush pens, Pentalk Touch Sign brush pens, uh, random ball points, some crayon pens, pencil, Sharpie, uh, Paper Mate, Artist Loft. Uh, this is a vintage pencil. My first paper mate clear point. Keep it for nostalgia reasons. And then these are all my jelly roll pens that were gift from pen friend Joanne B. White jelly roll. These are Pentel uh, Pentel Sparkle Pop pens, which are some of my favorite sparkly pens. I love these pens. I'm going to need to get some new ones of these ones too. Cuz I'm running out of I'm running out of blue and I'm running out of silver. I wonder if you can buy them individually. I'm going to have to check the Jet Pens website. If you are trying to buy a Jelly Roll individually, check the Jet Pens website. They usually have individual which are nice. These are my brush markers. This is um, Archer and Olive, which came in a picnic basket set, charming picnic set. These ones I got from the 99 cent store. Brush pen marker. So these are Archer and Olive fine liners that came with a box series. These are Archer and Olive pencils that came with another a separate box series. Uh, Sakura Micron Pigma fine marker from Gary and Kathy Scott. A couple of those. Uh, Pigma Micron, another Pigma Micron from Gary and Kathy Scott. Another Pigma Micron. These were Archer and Olive from a box. Um, Bic Crystals 1.6 millimeter wide Muji 0.35 millimeter a quickie glue pen for pinpoint uh, accuracy this is a Uniball Signo which I need to buy some more of because Throughout the entire month of October, I want to write with 
white pens only. So if you have white pens that you're not interested in, that you have, and you're willing to part with them, please send them my way. Jelly roll number 10. Sharpie. Furunosuke brush pen. <coughs> uh, Sharpie S gel pen. My digital Helen Packard pen. Pilot G207 pen. Pilot Friction, 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 Pilot Friction Marker, Pilot Friction, Pilot Friction Marker, Pilot Friction Marker, Pilot Friction Marker, Pilot Friction Marker, Running Out of Room, Pilot Friction Marker, Need more markers, no, Pilot Friction, Pilot Friction, Pilot Friction, Pilot Friction, and last but not least, Pilot Friction. Swatching tweezers. Eyebrow tweezers. <laughs> Everyone should have swatching tweezers and eyebrow tweezers. I need a bigger bucket. Someone send me a bigger bucket. <laughs> Look at that. I barely have any room for not one pen left. I need one of them big trash can buckets. Oh dear. Oh dear. Making a mess. Alright, well. Oh, all right, let's talk about these then. More pens, I know. So, when you take my calligraphy class and you do the thing at the end, if you do the thing, the first person who tags me on their Instagram can win a prize, but you have to take the calligraphy classes to win the prize. The speedball, my first flexible nib holder. Very nice. Another straight nib holder. This one is a Alexa Stop. This is a Koinor number 127. This one has a cork end, a, a finger holder. This was a gift from pen friend Friedrich. I don't know what this is made out of, but it feels like chinchilla. It feels so soft. This is a Tachikawa nib holder. This is a quill nib holder. This is a number five size nib holder. This is also a number five size nib holder. This is a wooden nib holder. This is a acrylic with beautiful chatoyancy nib holder. And this is a Moblique 
nib holder with secret compartment. What is the secret compartment for, you asked? It's to hold a nib. Come on. There we go. This is probably the lightest pen. This is definitely meant for doing ornamental penmanship. So, if you're interested in doing ornamental penmanship, and you want a really light pen, you barely even have to use the weight of, this is probably the one. Shaking up my pen holder, aka mug. Um, are there any other pens in my any other pens in my person? Oh, I almost forgot the most important pen of all. Most important pen of all. My Freedom of the Starry Skies glass dip pen. Isn't that beautiful? It's just so magically beautiful. But ever since I got my Kakamori dip nib, I haven't been using my glass pen. I should use it more often. And I think that's it. I think that's my entire pen collection. So, shall we talk about nibs? Why not? Let's talk about nibs. They're part of a pen, right? These are my dip nibs. This is a blue pumpkin. This is a. I need my eyeballs. This is a Nico G. This is a Tachikawa G. And they look similar. But the flexibility between them is super far apart. The. The breather holes are slightly different, and the uh, amount of flexibility is slightly different, but they look quite similar. I know I have another one in here, and this is a Zebra G. Nope, that's a Nico G. They look so similar, I don't even know them apart. Is this a Zebra G? Yes, this is a Zebra G. See, they look very similar. I don't even know how they tell them apart. Except for the name. This is a... This is a Hunt... 22B, brand new, 22B is at the looks of it. This is probably one of my older nibs. This is a Hunt 56. Probably one of my favorite dip nibs. It's very firm. This is an Arrow. This is a Hunt, extra fine. 512, a hunt 512. You can always tell by pointing the nib directly at you and it will tell you what the number is. This is a Jalot 303. 303, yes. It is blue colored and this is a very, very flexible nib.
This is a Leonard number 30. This is an arrow because it looks like an arrow. And this is a ornamental nib. Two, two, five, five, five. Quite difficult to tell. I think that the uh, stamp was mucked up, but it's a 2255 2. There's what that looks like. Those are all of my nibs. Those are all of my extra nibs, anyway. I've got nibs in my pen holders. Hunt 101. Fine nib. Hunt 22B. This is a C something. Oh dear. Pulled the ferrule right out. Speed no. I don't know what number this one is. It doesn't say. But it's like a stub. Stick that right back in the ferrule. That right back where it goes. Nothing in that one. This is a that I don't want to take it apart. This is a G nib. <laughs> this is a number five zero seven nib. And this is a hunt one oh one. So those are all my dip nibs. All right, let's look at some fountain pen nibs, shall we? That's what we're all here for, right? If you ever take a spring out of your converter, put it in a safe place. You may want one. Or if you take these little balls out, save them for in case you have a difficult ink. Because if you put them in your pen, in your, in your convert, if you have the ability to take your converter apart, and you put one of them little balls in there, it'll make the water tension lower. And I don't know why, it just will. There's my tweezers. Yeah, this was a nib housing. What is this? This is a this is a Monteverde fine number five nib. This is a pilot. Mm. Pilot fine nib. That goes on the <sighs> pilot petite one. This is a medium nib. Medium pilot nib. This is F. Is another medium nib. Um, I don't think I have any more pilot nibs. Nope. So I take the feed, the middle of the feed, out of my, my one of my Lamy feeds. If you didn't know that you could take the middle of the feed out, that's what the middle of the feed looks like. What you want a demonstration? <laughs> so here you have the Lamy feed, right? If you take your fingernail and you put it right there, you can push that out and it will open up your feed so that way you can get a better flow going on. Make sure that you put that feed back in there when you're done. It 
so that way normal inks can be normal. If I have a in particular shimmer ink that I want to use, and I know that it's not going to go through that feed, I will pull the, the middle of that feed out. And I will just put it somewhere safe. Let's see. What is this? This is the Lamy, Fly, Lamy Fine Nib. This is a Lamy, this is a Lamy Style Extra Fine Nib. This I got off of um, either eBay or Amazon. I got like a five pack of them so I can try grinding on them. Yeah, the extra fines are not great for grinding. Let me just tell you that right now. Another extra fine. And another fine. Any other nibs? Hiding. No? Okay. Let's look at some number six size nibs. This is uh, Franklin Kristoff Broad Nib. And this is Chew Noodler's Nibs trying to make a th third Noodler's Nib. No, I'm just kidding. This is a Noodler Noodler's Flex Nib. Another Noodler's Flex Nib. You guessed it, another Noodler's Flex Nib. Another Noodler's Flex Nib. And another Noodler's Flex Nib, yep. Yeah. This is uh, the Conklin Toledo Omniflex nib, which was terrible. This was the nib that came on my literally desk pen. It had a cursive medium nib, but I ground it down because I, I couldn't deal with the sharpness of the, the nib. This is one of my expensive nibs. This is a fpnibs.com Yovo number no. 6 14 karat full flex with an extra fine grind on it. Alright, number 5 nibs. This is a a fine, extra fine nib. This is an extra fine Jinhao nib. This is an Iridium Point German pen nib. This is a folded nib. You can see at the end how it's folded down to make the nib very interesting and strange. Does that say 14K? Oh, 14K gold plated. And this is a Monteverdi Omniflex nib that I modified because I couldn't stand how weak it was. So, all right, that's it. That is all of my pens and nibs. I think. Oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I can't get to them right now. 
I can't get to them right now because my my setup for Christmas is in the way. Uh, let's see. This is a Christmas present. This is a, a Kuretake brush pen. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice Christmas present. I got this for Christmas. What else? I think that's it. I think I've got over all my pens. What do y'all think about that? I have pencils and crayons in my side table, but it's being blocked off right now by my my uh, shelving unit in place for my Christmas tree. So you'll just have to wait till later. You'll have to you have to come back and see. So that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Don't forget to check out my new website. Join the calligraphy class. Check out the new papers reviews page join the discord and if you'd like to save 10 percent off on your next order to pen boutique use the link in the description and i will be back very soon with another video so take care until then okay love you bye have a great day